As you probably know, I went to VidCon Amsterdam last week. And let me just tell you all about it. So basically, I got up very early to go there early as well on Friday. Because my YouTube friends were already there and I wanted to spend the day with them. But there were some train delays because people jumped in front of the train. A lot of delay due to people jumping in front of... Well, the train. That's a serious problem here. Anyway, after a few hours of finally getting there, I approached the hotel and I knew that they would be waiting there. So I went up, knocked on the door, and then suddenly there was Ellen and Jared and Gath. <laughs> And I was so excited. And later on came the rest of my YouTube friends like Jasper and Nat and Nir and Malene, whose name I forever will be pronouncing wrong. I am sorry. And Lily and Nikki. And basically there were five of us in a room in the hotel, which already made it super crowded. But as the other people also joined us in our room, there were around like 10 people in our room, which was crazy. So we went over to the VidCon convention center to actually like register our tickets. And they were like, oh, what's your name? And I told them my name and they looked at the list and were like, I can't find this name anywhere. And I was like, what? Um I can't find his name. What? Uh-oh. Because I was like, no, 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 no. I paid for this. I have like, I have it printed here I, because I, I brought a printed confirmation mail. I'm like, uh, uh, but they put me and at the wrong ladder. So it was fine at the end. So the next day VidCon finally started and it started off with me having a creator chat with the creator Swoozy. So I asked him to be in my vlog and I took a picture with him. Swoozy too. Hello, how are you doing? I am doing very well. On a scale of one OMG, like how good are you right now? Uh, d depends. If you, if you... If, Add the numerals in between. Mm -hmm. At what point is OMG? Is that the 10? 10. Or is that okay? Yeah, so you're like at 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're OMFG. Maybe if you, if you held it like. Oh, see, look, see me oh, on the same side. See? Yep. <laughs> Boom. I'm six yep. foot now. And at the same place, there was also Alex Wasabi, whom I asked the same. Only one in this room that's oh. taller than me. Uh, yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm from uh, the north of the Netherlands, so <laughs> we are on, on average the tallest people How in the tall? world. You're like two inches taller. I am at 187. Level, so you can see. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. He's tall. I'm uh, 187. Uh, six foot one and a half. Uh, I'm six foot. All right. No way. Oh, maybe I'm 5'11. Did I shrink? Nice. So, uh, who am I talking to? Do you have a name for them? Uh, no, I don't actually have an audience name. Ah. Do you think I should? Well, you, should, you could. A lot of the times, from what I hear, people, the, the audience names themselves. They give you suggestions, you pick your favorite one. What's your name? Uh, I call myself, uh, my, my real name is Quinton, but I call yeah. myself Lightfeather. Lightfeather. Uh, yes. So you could be Feathers? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of different ones. They'll, they'll, they'll help you out. All right. Yeah. It's fun. Okay. And it was like a very overall, very nice talk because they were very uplifting, very polite, everything and nice. And afterwards, I went over to the creator lounge because I had a creator badge, which means that I'm officially was there. I was officially there as a creator, which means that I could get into creator lounge and panels and everything like that. Whereas people with a community badge could only be like in the fan area, basically, where they could party, stuff like that. So I was in the creator lounge and suddenly a Brazilian woman comes up to me and she's like you made that video about how to survive in the Netherlands and I was like yes that's me so I felt like super cool because I was recognized for my video and she put me in uh, she, she, she recorded me for her vlog and everything which I couldn't really understand because it was in Port Portuguese yeah 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 but that wasn't the only time that I was recognized because I went over to the community place at some point and suddenly a guy comes up to me and he's he has his phone he's like do you want to take a picture with me and the thing is I, I believe that my response was like really stupid because I was like what because I, I, I was like totally confused in my mind and he was like yeah I want to take a picture and I was like sure so we did and it was this picture and I think it's a cool picture and I have it on my phone and then he walked away and was like thanks I was like wait why and he was like oh, yeah I watch your videos and everything like that I don't know if you're watching this one but hi and anyway I was like Whoa! and my YouTube friends were all like whoa did that just happen and I was like yeah and I gave him candy because I just bought a bag of candy yeah, I bought some candy unrelated to this Unrelated to the story, but it was a nice addition, I think. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this pluck of hair. So that was the second time I was recognized. And then I walked past the desk and the, the girl behind it was like, hey, I think I know you from somewhere. And I was like, well, I have a channel, this and this and this. Turns out that she was actually from my hometown and goes to my university town for her university. However, that wasn't where she knew me from because I was like, maybe you saw me in the train, but she was like, no, I actually watched your videos like a year ago. And I was like, ah! So that was three times already. But then later on, I also had a create, the next day I had a creator chat with uh, the creator Quebble Cop, whom I put in my vlog, of course. Right now. What up, vlog? It's your boy. And you're the boy. So, yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Bye. Uh, and, but at that place, there were like two guys and they were like, Hey, I think I know you from somewhere. You made the video about how to survive in, in the Netherlands. And then the other one was like, Oh yeah, I saw that one too. And I was like, so I was recognized a total of five times. And I was like, Oh, I feel so cool now. So basically, yeah, I also talked to Quabble Cop and uh, there were a lot more people there. And I also had another creator chat with two Dutch guys from Head Game Portal, which translates to the gaming portal. There were not that many people there at the moment, but they were like really nice. And we just talked on a very personal level showed each other what we did kind of work early in the vlog I don't we are I don't want oh to yeah be in I the have vlog. to do that we're not well. youtubers we don't want to be that we don't we'll like cameras and that's the last thing we ever saw of him. There I also met a guy named Mikey, whom I later collaborated with on Monday morning, which is a collaboration that's still gonna go up here on the main channel. And I also made my collaboration with Jared, which went up yesterday, because I'm filming this on Thursday, and yesterday was Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. And that also went like hilarious. But the thing is, everyone was so YouTube-y and together that everyone was constantly shooting videos, and I was behind the scenes periscoping things and everything. And at some point, um, we were sitting outside of the creator hall, and Nat was like, do you want to play the penis game? Which is like where someone's says the word penis and the next one says it like louder and louder and louder until someone is like afraid to say because it, was, it will be too loud. So we started doing that and I, I thought it was getting too loud pretty quickly because I don't want to do that actually. And suddenly Nier yells it, like screams it throughout the whole place. And then Nat wanted to stop that and like screamed it and everyone, even the security guards turned around, looked at us, were like, I covered myself under my jacket like, no, I don't want anyone to see me right now because I was embarrassed. And at the end, there was also this this uh, presentation where the YouTubers Jack and Dean were talking and there was a camera on them and behind them you saw the crowd. So what Ellen uh, then did, she walked behind them like quite far, but she was in frame of the camera. And she started to just like stare into the camera and then Jared joined and they started to fake strangle each other. But the YouTubers were totally oblivious that they were doing that in frame because they weren't looking at the big screen, they were looking at the camera, obviously. I also saw Evan Edinger, the YouTuber, and I rubbed my camera right in his face. I asked him if he enjoyed it, but he said no. Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? No. Okay, I also saw the Fine Brothers. Uh, I met Tomska again, and I reminded him that I gave him my curriculum for an internship last time when I was to Summer in the City. Whoa. <laughs> it's you. Do you actually recognize me from Summer in the City? I really Somehow. do, yeah. I gave you my resume at the time. Oh shit, that was me. Hi, I forgot to film something. So as you probably saw, every picture of me with YouTubers, they looked like really irritated. And maybe you were wondering why that was the case. So the thing is, every time I go to a YouTube convention, I ask them to do a specific thing. This year, everyone had to look like I just made the worst joke imaginable. Last year, I did things where I asked everyone to look highly uncomfortable. But I purposely don't address it at first, so people will be like, what the heck did he say to them? And I really hope I succeeded in that. But I also got some nice pictures, so yeah. <laughs> And I saw some other YouTubers like Dodie Clark, but that is actually an interesting story. So you see, my girlfriend Isa, she wasn't able to come to, to VidCon and she, she wanted to meet her favorite YouTubers as well. So what Nat constantly did was send her video clips from her favorite YouTubers directed to her, to her by WhatsApp or Snapchat, Twitter, I don't know. The thing is, she was constantly too quickly for me because I was like, oh, that YouTuber, oh, and then Nat already had made a video, which means that I couldn't do it anymore. But then when I was walking to the McDonald's, we suddenly came across Dodie Clark on the streets as some other YouTubers as well, but she was the first one that we spotted. So I just came up to her and I was like, hey, you see, my girlfriend, she's she's like far away. Could we, could I maybe FaceTime you for her? And she was like, ooh, well, well actually, I'm getting, I'm so sorry for the accent, by the way, I'm trying to do it properly. I don't mean offense. Well, yeah, I'm actually getting food. And she was like, can I maybe um record a video message? And I was like, well, no, she already has one. And she was like, uh, uh, and I was like, I'll walk with you. <laughs> like, I totally, I came on pretty strong. If somehow this video gets to Dodie ever, I'm sorry. But I had to. So I just, and her manager was like, okay, yeah, you know what? You can you just walk with her. And I was like, all right. So I crouched down a bit because I'm taller than everyone. Not everyone, but most people there. And I put it, I turned it on and Isa was like, it's Dodie Clark. And I was like, yes, I know. I held it her, to her, but it was like a lot of wind. So it was hard to hear. And Dodie pressed her whole face like into my hand and phone. And I was like, Okay, because she couldn't hear properly and I, and I was standing there like, because we were walking and I was like crouch walking and she was doing this to my phone and we were like, this must look pretty strange to people that walk by. But anyway, I was able to do that and Issa was so happy and it was such, so, it was so cool. And the thing is, even outside of the convention, we, we just hung out with the group and just did fun things, ate, everything like that. And after I left and knew that it was gonna take a while before I saw the rest again, I was really sad because they're such a cool group. It would be so nice if everyone just lived close together. But overall, it was just a very, very fun experience and I really hope that they're gonna do like VidCon Amsterdam, like annually, always in Amsterdam, you know, because it's easy for me to travel.
level. So yeah, that will be super cool and I really hope I'll be able to go to more YouTube conventions, which I assume I will. <laughs> but yeah, if you like the clips that you saw of me vlogging uh, about on VidCon, I put the whole vlogs, like in its entirety, on Lightfeather TV, which is my second channel, link in the description, everything like that, and there are four vlogs, like the day after VidCon, the day first day of VidCon, second day of VidCon, and the day after VidCon. Did I say after twice? Basically, if you want to see those in, in them in their entirety and see us like be weird together and behind the scenes of us having fun and or, or just seeing VidCon in general. So yeah, Vid. Con, come on, con, con, uh, um, uh, uh. Wow! Hey all Lightfeather here, thank you so much for watching this new storytime video. Please let me know down below in the comments, did you go to VidCon or did you ever go to a YouTube convention or are you planning on going? And if you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I post something to get to know each other a little bit better like this on Saturday. And on Wednesday, I post something to solely entertain you, such as a comedy sketch. All of that because I want to light up your day and try and make you smile. But of all, I really hope you like this video and I would love to see you next time.